Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to link a button from inside a flash to an external URL. Um, now to start us off, uh, what I've done is made an ActionScript 3 um, document and I've made a stage of black. Now I've also created a rounded rectangle and a uh, text box that says YouTube inside of it. Um, now this isn't a button yet, so what we're going to need to do is select it. Then we're going to press F8 on the keyboard, and then we can convert it to a button. Um, so just select button, and then you can give it a name of um, whatever you want, and then just click OK. So now we have this all together as a button. Um, so now we're going to give it an instance name by clicking up here and going btn underscore, or actually let's call it the same thing, YouTube underscore btn. Alright, so now we're going to need to remember this instance name for later, so I'm just going to copy it. Alright, so now we have this button. Um, if you want to, you can add some rollovers or uh, some other effects to it if you want. Um, but we're just going to add some action script. So click on actions. Um, actually select your first frame, then click actions. Um, or whatever frame your button is on. Mine's on the first one. So then I'm going to just put a stop action to start. So stop, open, close, parenthesis, and then a semicolon. Hit enter a couple times. And then what we're going to do is put that name of the button. So YouTube underscore BTN. And then we're going to put a period, and then add event listener. And then it's going to be a mouse event. And then dot click in all caps. And then a comma. And then we're going to need to name a function. So let's say, um, Let's just call it YouTube, and let's make it lowercase. And then an end parenthesis, semicolon. Now hit enter, and then we're going to write the function. So function, and then we're going to call it YouTube. And then an open parenthesis. And then it's an event, so let's put an E, and then mouse event. And then we're going to do parenthesis, or a close parenthesis, colon, and then void because we're not returning any data. All right, and then we're going to do an open curly bracket. So hit enter twice and then close curly bracket up arrow key. So now we can start writing this function. So we're going to need a variable and it's going to be the link um, and we're going to have a URL request. So variable space and let's just call it um, YouTube link. So I just have YouTube and then a capital L for link um, and then a colon. And then we're going to say URL uh, request. And the URL and the R on request are all capital. Um, and then space equals space. And then it's going to be new space URL request. All right. And then a open parenthesis, quotes. I'm just going to do quotes and then close parenthesis and then semicolon. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is uh, let's just make this link to my YouTube channel. So HTTP, make sure you have that uh, so it links outside. Um, colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash user slash river city graphics. All right. So that should link to my YouTube uh, account. So now we need to actually, um, this is just making the variable, so now we need to link this variable to um, the button itself. So we're going to say uh, navigate to URL, and then to, the T on 2 is capitalized, and the URL is also capitalized, all three. Um, and then a open parenthesis, and then we're going to call it, what do we call it, a uh, YouTube link and then a comma, and then what we want it to open in. Now, uh, this is similar to HTML, um, where you can have uh, self or uh, blank. So you want, let's put underscore blank. Um, underscore blank will open it in a new window. Um, so normally you don't want people navigating away from your website. Um, so you just open up it, open it up in a new uh, window in order to keep them, uh, another tab with your website on it. So then a close parenthesis and a colon. Now if you had self, um, you'd probably use this if you were using or you were making a menu for a website. Um, 
you'd want them to stay within the website. You wouldn't want each page they click on to be a new tab because that'd be pretty annoying. Uh, so you just have it as self, but we're going to put it on blank so it opens in a new tab. Um, so now it should be working. So let's just go, go to Control Test Movie. All right, so far so good. And we just click on this button. And look at that, brought up the internet. Let me get that to where you can see it. And look at that, there's my YouTube channel. So as you can see, that's working pretty nicely. You could make a menu out of this, or you could do some other stuff. You can make a cool animation for the button, uh, rollovers, anything you want. Um, this is how you link to external sources. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I hope you subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.